Hello friends, today we're going to be jumping right back into our slime fun tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at uranium, blistering ingots, and all things radioactive. But before we begin, I just want to thank all of you who have subscribed. Every time someone does, YouTube gives me a notification about it, and it just makes my day. So if you could please consider checking to see if you're subscribed, it would mean the world to me. It's completely free, it only takes two seconds, and if you want to unsubscribe later, it's totally okay. Thank you all so much for helping to change my life one sub at a time. All right, so radioactivity is a visible property of some slime fun items and resources. You can see that right here where it says radiation level. And this radiation effect causes withering, burning, weakness, mining fatigue, nausea, and blindness after having such items in your inventory for a short time. This time seems to vary between one and eight seconds no matter what level of radioactivity the items have. However, for low level radioactive items, such as tiny chunks of uranium, radiation effects don't apply. The number of items of a type that you have doesn't affect the time it takes to get radiation. There are a few ways to deal with these effects. Some people, such as myself, prefer to deal with the materials by moving them quickly between chests and machines when required. So I'm just gonna take that and put it in here, take this, put it in here. All right, I didn't get any effects because I was, I was fast about it. Others prefer simply tanking the effects with high level enchanted armor, such as protection for, fire protection for, etc., etc. However, there is a way to negate the effects completely, introducing the hazmat suit. The hazmat suit is a four-piece armor set made in the Slime Fun Armor Forge, which we talked about in our very first episode on basic machines, and comprises a variety of specific but rather inexpensive materials. In order to make a complete hazmat suit, you're going to require these materials. As you can see, it's not a lot. Two pieces of the hazmat suit provide their own unique benefits to the wearer. The helmet gives water breathing to while worn, and the chest plate gives you fire resistance to. In addition, wearing the complete set will not only negate radiation effects, but will grant you immunity to bee stings. Now that we're adequately prepared to deal with radiation, let's take a look at what radioactive materials there are. Uranium is a highly radioactive item used in crafting blistering ingots and fueling nuclear reactors. It is composed of small chunks of uranium, which are moderately radioactive. These are in turn composed of tiny chunks of uranium, which have a low radioactivity. We get uranium by either geomining or, the more efficient option, crafting from sifted ore. Blistering ingots are a very highly radioactive material used in crafting late game machinery. It's made in a heated pressure chamber with 24 karat gold, uranium, carbonato, and a nether star. Nether ice is a moderately radioactive resource used to craft the very highly radioactive enriched nether ice which is used to cool nether star reactors. Nether ice is acquired through geomining in the nether. Now, if you're not quite sure what geomining is, we're gonna be talking about that in an episode soon to come. Neptunium is a highly radioactive resource used to fuel nuclear reactors. It is the waste product of uranium fuel in nuclear reactors. Plutonium is a very highly radioactive resource used to craft boosted uranium and enriched nether ice. It is the waste product of neptunium fuel in nuclear reactors. Boosted uranium is a very highly radioactive resource used to fuel nuclear reactors for even longer than uranium and is also used in crafting nether star reactors. Finally, the easiest way to get uranium without an automatic uranium factory, which we will cover in the future, is by putting sifted ore, like so, in an ore crusher twice in order to get pulverized ore. So this gets crushed ore and then if we just use the crushed ore, we're gonna get pulverized ore. Then, we wash that pulverized ore in an ore washer in order to get pure ore clusters. And finally, by crushing the results back in the ore crusher, we get tiny piles of uranium. By crafting these in an enhanced crafting table, we can turn nine tiny piles of uranium into one small chunk of uranium. By crafting four small chunks of uranium in an enhanced crafting table, we can get one piece of uranium. This means that each uranium requires 36 sifted ore to make, which isn't a lot as our auto dust factory from our last video produces that in just 36 seconds. As for using that uranium to generate massive amounts of power, we'll be covering that in a new video very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you found it helpful, please subscribe. It's free, it takes two seconds, and it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much, and I will see you all next time.